I don't want this video to come off as a dunk. Whenever I talk about early people in the Americas, I get comments like this, and I want to address them just kind of person to person. Again, I'm not gonna try, I, this isn't meant to argue. It's just meant to explain. When people say that the land bridge has been debunked, what they are referring to, at least in my experience, because I've had these conversations a lot over the years, they are referring to the idea that the earliest people into the Americas made it through this corridor. For a long time, a lot of archaeologists followed the Clovis first model, which suggested that those people came after this ice corridor opened up. What we have realized since then, there is overwhelming evidence that people were in the Americas prior to this opening up. Scientists have been able to better date when this actually opened up. We've also found more sites. They've been able to better date those sites. Again, it's clear that the corridor wasn't how they got there first. So when you say the land bridge is debunked, typically that's what you're referring to. And I agree with you. The first people didn't come through that corridor. However, the land bridge is talking about Beringia up there. And Beringia is a very, very important part to those early migrations. Genetic evidence continues to support that. There's just, there's, there's overwhelming evidence that people were living up here for a really long time. And eventually it seems like some of those people utilized the coast to navigate around that ice sheet. And that seems to be how some of those earlier people made it to this landmass prior to that corridor open. I have a video that I'll post and attach to this where I do go over a lot of that evidence. I'm, I'm at the parking lot, I'm about to go into the gym, so I, I don't have time to do all that right now. And also, like I said, I didn't want this to just be like a dunk contest. I just wanted to show like what I'm talking about here because the TikTok comment section is not great for that. And I've realized like I just need to be able to explain in full. So that's the explanation. The land bridge hasn't been debunked. It's just that that ice-free corridor has been debunked in the sense that we used to think that was the way they made it in there, and we now realize that it's not the case. However, I mentioned in that video that there was like an influx of population. I do think it's likely that as that opened up, there was a large population that started moving through, and that lines up with when those dogs first made it into the America. So maybe the people that made it in earlier, maybe they also had dogs, and then maybe they were kind of like their genetic signature was erased by the larger population that came in. Who knows? There is a lot still to understand about human history on this landmass.